just a bit of greed too far. I still go with OG. I just think that her lineup's a lot better, but I think EG is like the slightly better team based on recent results. But this draft has me very convinced. But... Yeah. Drow without Puck is weak. They don't have a good way to seize high ground. Drow, not, I don't think Drow's a good building hitter uh, as when it comes to T3s, unless you get very far ahead, which is going to be very difficult considering. All Look right. at those levels. These guys are going to TI. Um, you're not like so reliant on the Arc Warden as your main carry. Does that change at all how you want to play around it? I think Arc Warden can be played as a high tempo space creator. At least that's how he's been playing it, no tell. Oh, Mal in all kinds of trouble. OG, oh, bring him down with the cold snap. Dodged the sun strike, but didn't matter. Ah, oh, it's about to fall. Did have to ferry out another salve, so. Big Wait. commitment, but now Sumali's been baited in. The stretch Armstrong shackles coming out and fly. Scores the kill. Sun strikes are universe, and he's getting his level so far. Universe going for some of these cheeky side pulls. So the off lane's a bit of a wash, it looks like. Both cores farming freely. It's really just these kills on the mid lane where the main difference has been made. That cold snap on Sumail, though. They continue to pound into him, dropping him low. And oh, oh my god. god, my ears are about to explode. They will bring down the Storm Spirit. Meanwhile, <laughs> Zai, Sunstrike nets them another. It's a twofer in the mid lane. Oh, man. Is this where we want to put the production crew name at the start of the broadcast? <laughs> oh, here we go in the mid lane. OG just chasing after Mr. Zai. This tri lane mid is been very troublesome. They thought about backing, but with the shackles coming through, they want to commit on Desire, oh, but they don't commit oh. quite enough. Now the tether comes through from crit. Fly drops low. The torrent slightly off the mark for him, but perhaps they'll get the juicier kill as Ana running away. There's a TP to the Shrine Universe. Cuts him off with the Fissure. Nice takedown there. Can they get more on Jerax? X is going to pull him back across the ravine, up onto the cliff. Cold Embrace won't save you, my friend. He shatters as well. EG able to grab a bit in the CS department. And OG, they're going to abandon that tri lane mid. Now they make the move on the top. Arteezy is the target. They've got the tether coming through. They lock him in position with the shackles as well. They'll maybe need one bash from S4 to secure this kill. Gets the gust pushback. Now on the run as Jerex has been pulled back into tower rage. Might end up drying here. Dying here. Uh, cold Embrace. Keep him alive a bit longer, but they've overstayed their welcome. Now Sumail is on the hunt. Looking for Fly. He's a bit low on Mana, though. The torrent comes through. It's slightly off the mark. Nails the creeps, but that's it. And now the ball forward. Commitment for Fly. Good hex by Fly. Juking through the trees. Tries to retreat. Not gonna happen. Zai cuts him off with the sword. And now the Sunstrike gets the counterplay. Ana will find a much needed kill. And also, I mean, still is like an item away before she could actually safely push tower. So I, I don't actually know what EG could do to like begin a mini comeback. Oh, Sumail so maybe getting punished again in the mid lane. He won't make it out. Fly is there with the support from Ana. Inside of smoke. I just think that it's so hard to push OG's tower because of their abilities, right? Chronosphere punishes you when you're grouping up. Sumail wants to bait out one of those abilities, perhaps, and it's going to be the Winter's Curse that finds him. Crit is there with the tether, the overcharge keep it oh alive, but now God. the Chronosphere is the trump card. Ward's placed just to the side of it. Sumail somehow able to ball out to the left and back to the right. He survives through it all. Well, they force out quite a few ults. They only lose the IO. Not the worst exchange in the world for EG, though the tower takes no damage. And OG is still the best. That was actually pretty good for EG. Like, they got two big ults for one. Trying to punish. Fly gets caught here. Sumail, the comeback kid, is in town. Find that fly kill. It's actually very, very high on the drought in the, in the Storm Spirit. There's a lot of control for the Storm, but there's quite a bit of long cooldowns as well, right? Like, the Winter's Curse, that's a pretty sizable cooldown. The Chrono's obviously very long, so... Until the Shaman gets a blink, he might not always be able to catch... Sumail, he plays his cards right, and so look for Universe to try and debut this Echo Slam. He finds two, locking down the Void. Can they burst him before he's able to counterplay this? No, he gets the Chrono. The lockdown crit, holding Universe in position as well. Now the Meteor rains down, they counterplay it well. They get three, they might grab four. Sumail gunning for Fly, balling to the left. He wants a little more, but Ana's gonna chunk him down. Now S4 gets involved, needs a lot of bashes to deal with Arteezy, the help of these wards. Will it be enough? Jerex comes in, Drow slinks away to the left, but hounded by the Void. Un Able to shadow blade out of there as it was on cooldown. They'll end up grabbing four in the end. And, uh, I mean, granted, you ex probably expect the blink at this point, but that was the blink debut for Universe. So he is gonna walk up to high ground here now, straight into the waiting arms of S4. But he gets the stun off, and now Sumail looks to punish, lunging forward onto the wyvern. Not able to fully finish him off before that curse comes out, but it's only on crit for now. No tail sets up the meteor rains down. They'll get the follow up kill. S4 time walks off so much damage, stays alive. This hammerhead shark man is a. Uh, 
Difficult takedown. Now they're looking for Zion the river, but Universe is there. Well placed Fissure. August as well. A torrent two. It connects on three. Sumail pounces it again. Fancy in another fight continues to find these pickoffs. Looking for Ana, who now has to drop the ice wall. Look to retreat. S4 holding the back lane, but not a whole lot he can do without the Chrono. The Forge Spirits, though, doing so much damage. Zion's being caged in by them. One more time walk, and this void could explode, but no, he won't get it off. Sumail able to finish him in time. Might have died there to the Forge Spirits in the void otherwise. Brasa walking and shackling or just throwing out Chrono. You missed those spells, you're just done. And I think uh, in, in the last fight, there was a little bit of that. EG on the prowl now, moving through the Radiant Jungle. Universe oh. there again with the Donkey catches up to the Fissure, the Torrent, the boat coming in, but S4 is able to time walk it off. They only lose one so far, the Shaman, but he gets pulled back by the exit into that boat. EG will find the follow kill and now maybe looking for more crit. Able to make it out of this fight for a bit. He will end up dying. And now, No Tail jumping in with the Illusion. That will get picked off. They've lost three on the northern end. Sumail did find Jerax as a T1. So this maneuver, not going to work out for OG here. Oh, they're trying to take that tower down. Forge Spirits laying into the tier one tower on the high ground. No Tail just sending Yo, Shaker just jumped in. I think he's looking at cancel oh. Tornado comes through. EG with the counter play. Trying to lock down. No Tail, but the Chrono is there. A nice catch by S4. And this could hurt EG quite a bit. Sumail low. Still has the Aegis to work with, though. And now turning back for the Void. He'll shatter him. He will lose his Aegis. Round two commences with RTZ. Be controlled during this time by the Cold Snap. Forced away. Sumail going for the jump. Does he have the pull? No, it's on cooldown. So Ana makes it out. And in the end, uh, three for three there, including the Aegis. But he's out quite far here. No Tail looking to cut him off. And now the Chrono deployed. But the IO is revving up for the big save. Oh. Crit brings back to safety. So Chrono expended. The Shaker's going to respawn. They've dropped down the magnetic fields here to cover their own heroes. But Zai lurks in the trees right now. They're waiting for the IO's grand well, they don't return. See. Oh, they see Zai but the whole too. squad's coming in. This could really backfire. Zai up on the high ground. Crit stays alive. Universe lunges forward. Look for the Fissure to start it off. Actually, it's the boat coming through. It's Sumail over the top. Locking down No Tub. We'll finish him off pretty early here. Now looking for more. Good blink out by S4. Back to safety. EG, stay alive. 19 Bloodstone charges still, and they continue chase. They can pull S4 back in if they've got the mana for it. Remnants there, the Yule Scepter, buying them time for the Fissure to come through. Torrent connected as well, and S4 oh will pop. Three down. No Chrono ready, and EG with the Drow. They want to go high ground here. Arteezy's down more. No, the Dunk from the Universe. That's a full five-man wipe, and EG. It's time for a lane of Rex, they say. Persistent little buggers. They'll have to buy back here a no tail to try and hold. But there's not too much the Arc Warden can do on his lonesome already. The illusion finished off and EG take their first lane. Just That's why they're like the best team in the world. It, you just can't ever count out the Sumail Storm, you know? No matter yeah. how bad the game looks, no matter how much you gank them early. Like I, I still remember that DAC 2015 Grand Finals. I think it was Game 3 or Game 4, uh, where Sumail died like three or four times. And speaking of which, uh, he's just found Fly very deep with this uh, ward that they've set up. So good pick for him. I thought and this he still came back. Do a lot the better. Like what? What? What has? What has he done? I'm not sure. What has he done, and c could he have done more? Is, is what? Because we don't really see this hero pick that often. Aside, like. Wait, I think, what, Faces have picked them a couple of times, OG picked them by far more than any other team, but it's... Well, big fight breaking out here. Somehow, Sumail survives. They'll finally bring him down. They end up monster kill streak. Could be the start of a comeback for OG now as they find two. Almost an instant respawn for Sumail, though he's going to be up in one second. He'll be coming right back in. Ana on the run. The boat won't let him escape, though. Zai finishes him off, and now maybe chasing for a bit more. As far as me back to safety. So yeah, three dead. And then, uh, I guess the question... You could also just have a BKB at this point if you're Sumail and Invisibility. just go in. Just tank tank the Chrono with BKB yeah. on. OG are quite light on the physical damage here. That's what Arkhorn was supposed to do. Over here now. Not with this build. Oh my god. Sumail no just going deep to the tier 4s. Easy call in. Does this qualify as BM enough for you? Oh, that's strategic. Space created for the Roche. Dude, OG is super spooked. They drop like 25 centuries in the base. It's like, where the hell is this war? Tornado, perfect catch, EMP. Can anyone get their oh. head far with the Chrono? Oh, just, the radio, on the ground. 
go Roshan actually going the way of the Dire, but the Aegis is snatched by S4. Now the real fight breaks out. Good relocate save. Setting up Sumail for round number two. He jumps in, but inside of the Magnetic Field, no tell stays alive. The BKB protects him. OG not ready to give this game up yet. They have lost two. All they've gotten out of it is an Aegis snatch, and they've blown the Chrono, so EG presumably can just go back for a lane of Rax here with the Fissure coming through. Uni wants a bit more Enchant Totem. Locking down Ana. He will fall, and now S4 on the retreat, so... Not ideal for OG. And I'll go for the Siege again. I wonder how well Arc Warden has been working out for them in scrims. They had a win or two here or there with it uh, at some of the previous events, so... It's had some successes, okay. but they didn't catch crit here on the IO. He could prove problematic going for the relocate, and again he times it right! Arteezy stays alive, and now it's done to Universe! Three hero echo! Boom! Crashing through. Beautiful connection from EG. They've got OG on the run. The green dream is about to die. They just need a little more mana on Sumail. Bowling 40 does blink up. And that's what the blink dagger pays for itself, Sumail says. That's why I bought it. Easy jump forward, even without the mana. He'll find the Ana kill. Two, four have fallen. And GG. Well, it's all EG here on Independence Day. Truly an American victory. So did we, did we underestimate what EG's draft could do, or do you